You know, I remember that day very well. You see, I was in this buffet line at this restaurant near my house. In fact, right around the corner. And, you know, so I was taking my food and stuff. And I realized that lots of people were looking at me. And, you know, I was wondering, wow, you know, why is everyone looking at me? And especially the ladies. The ladies were looking at me. And I thought, wow, you know, I, I must be pretty good looking today. You know, all the ladies are looking at me. Hmm. So, you know, I'm happily taking food. And when I was done, I went back to my table, looked at my food. I was about to dig in when I realized, holy cow. Ah! My zip is open. So, we've all done that before, right, you know, guys, uh, well, ladies, you know, I've, I've never seen any girl who's left a zip open. Uh, but guys, I know lots of you do that. <coughs> 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 so embarrassing, is, I'm coughing about it. And there was even another time, and this is even worse, I was in training. So I was giving the training when suddenly my zip poof, broke open. And, you know, I had two choices to make. I auto automatically made these choices, but, you know, thinking about it right now, I, I had two choices to make. So the first choice is to be embarrassed. I can be like, oh, no. Oh, this is embarrassing. And, and, you know, when it happened, right, and you could see people's faces, they were like, oh. So, you know, so I had two choices. Either be embarrassed or be excited about it. And I actually chose to be excited about it. And luckily... Luckily, I wasn't wearing red underwear, otherwise it would be, you know, doubly worse. Oh, pink. I have no pink underwears, but, you know, red. That's bad. And, uh, we all get caught with our pants down, uh, sometimes. We all do. And, um, we, maybe it's something we said that we, we, we shouldn't have, or maybe you told an inappropriate joke at inappropriate times, or maybe you sang your heart out in a karaoke one day, and the next week you ask your friends to come again and none of them say yes you know and, and maybe you said something silly during a job interview or you know you tripped yourself over your shoelace and pushed the bride into the the pool now you know you can see that in youtube videos or maybe you farted at a very important event if you want to watch a fart video watch that one you know, i'm placing the link right there it's i spent half an hour today watching fart videos because i was going to do this video and I had so much fun. Watch this one. And, and you know, we all want to smack ourselves so hard in the head because something embarrassing happened. And you know, this video is to show you how to handle embarrassments. <coughs> if embarrasses, embarrassments happen to you, how do you handle it? So before we do that, why do we actually get embarrassed? You know, it's important that we know why. And that's because we have a fundamental need to be respected and you know, not to be seen as silly. And you know, we, we are afraid that people will think badly of us and we are afraid that people won't like us anymore. And so what can we do about it? What can we do about it? And number one, the first thing you have to understand that really, guys, people hardly ever think of you anyway. I mean, really, think about this. Think of one truly embarrassing moment that happened to a friend of yours. If you're like me, when I was thinking about this question, I was like, an embarrassing moment? Friend? I don't remember any of it. I can remember all the embarrassing moments that I have had, but none, no embarrassing moments of any of my friends. <laughs> maybe you're like me. Or, or maybe you thought of one. Oh, one embarrassing moment, it just happened not too long ago. But guys, ask yourself this question. How many times did you think of this embarrassing moment that your friend had months ago? Hardly, if ever. That's right. So guys, remember, number one, when an embarrassing situation hits you, remember that people will forget about it. People hardly ever think about it. Number two, you can laugh and do self-depreciating humor. When my zip broke that day right in front of training, I looked down at my zip and said, Guys, my zip broke! And they all burst out laughing. And, you know, 
Can you imagine if I was embarrassed about it instead of laughing about it? Like, oh, you know, guys, I'm sorry, my my zip broke. Uh, and guys, you no, know, if um, you no, know, uh, how am I going to continue the training? Forget it. Okay, so you know, laugh and do self depreciating humor. And if you do that, what happens is people will be more comfortable about it. Okay, number three, if if it's an embarrassing situation and you didn't mean it, guess what? Take steps to improve the situation. If you cracked a bad joke, a t tasteless, distasteful joke, most times all it takes is an apology right then. Then, you know, guys, I'm sorry that you know, oh gee, that came out wrong, and, and you no know, people forget about it, and it becomes fine. But whatever you do, guys, whatever you do, if an embarrassing moment strikes, don't remain embarrassed. Okay, that's the rule. Never remain embarrassed. If you're uncomfortable about what happened, other people around you will too. But if you quickly become comfortable with what happened to you, if you quickly accept that embarrassment, then you diffuse the situation very quickly. Because, you know, people don't drown walking into a river. People drown when staying in it. So likewise, you know, if you stay embarrassed, you will drown. And other people around you will feel embarrassed as well. So, if you take these steps, guys, opening zips, or you know, having accidental open zips, will be something you will actually look forward to. And embarrassing situations will not remain embarrassing.